my name is Bella Costantino Kerrigan. I was a 2016 Mass Star Delegate from Arlington High School and a 2017 Junior Facilitator. It's been a couple years, but I'm back and I'm going to start by doing my favorite cheer, which is the Mass Star Beat. I like the Mass Star Beat because it's hard and I never get it right on the first try. I've done a couple takes of this now, so hopefully I'll do it correctly. In the context of Mass Star, though, I love everybody when we all do it together and we don't get it right at first but we're all trying there's like a sense of camaraderie and then when we finally do get it and we sound awesome like there's this really loud coherent collection of clapping and snapping sounds it's so satisfying and I think it brings everybody together in a really fun way so I'm gonna do it sitting we'll see how that goes who's got that beat that mass star beat we've got that beat that mass star beat it goes All right, on to some more specific questions. I want to come to Mass Star this year because I want to learn how to lead groups of people. The first two times I came to Mass Star were right after the, one right after the other. I was in high school. I didn't really know who I was as a person and Mass Star really helped me come out of my shell and make connections with the types of people that in high school I wouldn't usually talk to um, and speak up for myself, find my voice. And it was really difficult at times, but really shaped who I am as a person more than most other experiences I've had in my lifetime. But it's been a while since I've been at Mass Star, and now I'm coming back, I'm in college, I feel like I know who I am now. So really what I want to focus on more is how to help other delegates, other high schoolers, go through that same process, if that makes sense how to find yourself, how to deal with being an introvert, with speaking up and stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's something that I'm still working on myself, but I would love to help imbue into other people and learn how to imbue into other people. Going along with that, my one piece of advice for a 2020 delegate would be to keep your mind open. Sometimes I feel like from an outside perspective, the activities we're doing at Master are kind of silly. <laughs> In a fun way, but I don't, I didn't always see the point when I came in. And so I would shut myself off more often times than not because I didn't want to look silly. I wanted to always be calm and cool and collected. And so it's easier said than done, but my piece of advice would be don't do that. Keep your mind open. Let Master be the full experience it wants to be. Give yourself to it fully because I promise it will help you grow as a person and figure out who you're supposed to be. Finally, if I was leading a debrief, first I would have everybody go around in a circle and describe how the experience was for them in one word. I love doing that. I feel like it helps you get a gauge of how everybody's feeling because sometimes, I don't know, like the ice cream game can feel very different to different groups of people. Like, was it fun? Did you hate it? I feel like it provides a good starting point for a conversation, which then we can build off on as we talk about the event itself before zooming out and asking ourselves, why did we do this? Why does this matter? How will this affect us in the world outside of Mass Star? Because that's what I love about Mass Star is it takes these little microcosm events that may seem silly, may just seem like pure fun, but can really help you in your day-to-day -day life and help you as a person, a friend, an activist, a leader. So at the end of a debrief, I really like to zoom out and help the delegates see that.